Greetings once again, dear friends. It is good to be with you. Welcome to our program, Sharing Hope, a way by which we may give you hope for a brighter future. Parents, how well we remember when we first held our baby in our arms, cuddled her or him, and felt like our heart would burst with joy. The child grew and developed, learned to respond to our words, sit, crawl, walk, run, speak, ask questions, reason out, and do many other things that grown people do. What a joy to watch the progress day by day, month by month, and year by year. As we noted the development, we hoped in our hearts that this child of ours would one day turn out good and make us proud. As parents, we loved our child or our children if we had more than one. We wished nothing but the best for them. Much as we love our children, Jesus loves them even more. He died for adults as well as for children. The Bible records that one day, some mothers came with their children to see Jesus. They wanted him to bless them, put his hand on their heads and pronounce a blessing. Jesus' disciples, thinking that Jesus did not want to be disturbed, turned the mothers away. But Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Then he placed his hands on them and blessed them. In Matthew 18, 6 and 10, Jesus declared, If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large millstone hung around their neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. These verses show Jesus' love and concern for the children. He wants us to bring the children to Him, to learn of Him, come into His presence and receive a blessing. Today, we can do this by teaching our little ones about Jesus, telling them stories about Him, and reading to them from His Word. Causing children to stumble, like leading them to sin, misguiding their footsteps, causing them unnecessary pain, and offending them carries heavy consequences. And what an encouraging thought to know that Jesus sends his angels to protect the little ones. These angels keep constant touch with the Father in heaven, probably giving him a day-by-day, hour-by-hour, moment account. Our children grow up, and at times, they lose the right way. Bad friends influence them to do wrong. They learn undesirable habits, they become rebellious and disobedient. Many parents sorrow over their straying children. The children cause sorrow, pain, and heavy hearts. Jesus knows all these. We can pray for our children while continuing to show them love. Jesus wants them to grow up to be useful citizens, and he also feels grieved when this kind of problem arises in the family. 
He wants the children on his side too. So let us turn to Jesus for help in rearing and guiding our children. Let us pause for a moment to pray. Dear God in heaven, truly we are thankful for the children that we have. They bring so much joy to our hearts. We love them. And Father, it is our burden for them to grow up in the right way, in your way, to be a blessing to humanity. Children who will make you happy and who can also make us happy. Please bless our children. Please help them to know what is right and help us parents to know how to guide them to you. Father, we pray once again for our listeners. You know every one of them, their needs, and we ask that you will be with them, especially during these times of danger. Please keep them safe in your love and care. They and their families, their children. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. A song has been prepared for you. May it cheer your hearts.
If you have any questions, or if you would like us to pray for you, you may contact us through the following email address. Thank you for the precious moments you spent with us. As we part, we wish you the peace, hope, and happiness possible through Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Till next time, goodbye. Thank you.